This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by MMAHQ.com, the world's best daily deal site. Defense Soap. Offense wins matches. Defense keeps you on the mat. BetDSI.com, where you can bet in MMA. Enter code MMA Nuts and get a 20% bonus. Hey fans, this is MMA Notes, episode 120. One, two, zero. Zero. My name is Ingo Weigold. I'm Matt Griffith. This is the MMA Show by MMA Fans for MMA Fans, where we walk the line between serious and ridiculous. What's going on? Nothing. What's happening? Uh, you know, it's beer cold. Beer drinking. Or... Drinking beer, and it's chilly in Chicago. It's a... Hey, speaking of chilly, Ingo made some killer chilly last night. About giving me a, pretty good. a heart attack. Uh, Passed out. You didn't get dosed, did you? No. Okay, good. Until this morning when I woke up, I'm just dropping ass all over. It smelled like turkey chili. <laughs> Family's know, like, kinda, oh, it, it was going good. On? It's delicious. Like I was saying, I think beef holds the flavor better, but the turkey is more of a like a lighter feeling. Yeah. You know, like when you eat the beef chili, sometimes you're like, oh. But the turkey chili, you can have another helping, and you're still good. Five <laughs> big-ass bowls I had of, like, this at least two crazy. to three big-ass ladles. Yep, with some cheese and onion. onion. And the only thing we're Fuck missing yeah. were peppers next time. It's Make it right. again. I like that slow cooker. You should get one. I don't know if you have one or not. Mm, so got easy. a crock pot. Mm, same thing. Might do the same. Yeah. So easy. Just throw everything in, put it on low, come back seven hours later, and it's done. <laughs> Maybe stir it a few times. <laughs> yeah. Season a little bit. You're done. True that. So, um, yeah, it was good. And uh, what else is going on? Not much. It's like a... Brisk 40 degrees outside? Yeah. yeah, it went from like, what, 40 this morning up to 60. Yep. Down to 40. Back down to 40. So uh, the fall is here, officially, as of today. I should be drinking cider. <laughs> Mental note. Cider, yeah. Crispin. Mental note. <laughs> Crispin on the next show. Coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> Coming for you. should contact Crispin, see if they'd like to send us some Crispin. I- I'd be sure to drink it on the show. Mm. I'm not afraid. Me neither. It's gluten-free. That's right. And it's not like one of those sweet-ass fucking... Mike Snow. What is that? Um, no. That Woodchuck? Other bullshit. Woodchuck? Yeah. Woodchuck is way too sugary. Yeah. yeah. It's like a sugar lick instead of a salt lick. You might yeah. as well have a... Upsets your stomach after a while. It's like, man. The crispin is just nice and smooth. It's mellow. Yeah. 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 That was some chili. Mm. Yeah. See? See, actually, I had a... Uh, Kill it with a cigar? L- Maybe. <laughs> I had the Blue Moon yesterday with the chili, and it was a nice contrast of, like, slightly sweet with spicy. So, you know, they need to come out with some more beers that you can enjoy. Yeah. Besides that, uh, what are you drinking? <laughs> that delicious Bards. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh. It's all good. So shall we talk about UFC 152? Hey, check this out. My Is there mouth. any news? Yeah. There's no news. None. We have none. No news is no. good news with Gary Ganoos. What? <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> Someone will catch that reference. Gary Ganoos? Ah, uh, what was that? The Great Space Coaster or something? I have no Get idea. Get on you're... board on the Great Space Coaster. You lost me totally. Yeah, this is like that one up. Is it from a movie? No, it was like a generic Muppets or something. Oh. Eric Muppets. I don't know. Oh they did do their little skits, and the, it was Gary Gnu who used to do the news. You're missing out. Okay. <laughs> I shall Google this. You shall do the same. Yeah. It's all good. So Some people will catch the reference. All right. Until it's not. Was this the most epic card of the year, UFC 152? Mm, not so much. I thought the undercard was better. The FX card fights were excellent. This is another one. Like, we had to have a few few times ago where the undercard steals the show and then the main card doesn't deliver? Nope. Yeah, Pearson had a great fight with, uh, who was he fighting? Lance Benoit, Benoit, Benoit. Yes, the silence in France. <laughs> <laughs> Except that guy is from America, so I don't know how oh, to say good. his fucking last name. Anyways, that was a battle. He, I think he won the first two rounds and then almost got caught in the yeah. third. And I want to say about the refing too, the refs were f- shit. Yeah. All night. They weren't All catching night. anything, right? 
How many people got eye poked or eye gouged and they didn't call it? There was so much illegal shit going down. And I thought in a couple of fights it was questionable. Like, I think that was the one, too, where it could have been stopped. And yeah, didn't get stopped. And who was it? Mergliata was, like, tripping over someone yeah. else. And, like, what the fuck Oh, are the, you the doing? early that stoppage, the, the, the one, right? Charlie Brennerman, Kyle Noak. Yeah. Um, that was the first fight in the card. I don't know. You know, I guess you got to let him go, but. He was maybe out, but he maybe got not. crumpled because he did that knee crumple. Like, oh fuck! Yeah, I mean I don't know. I think the ref was a little gun, not gun shy. What do you say? Quick on the trigger. Yeah, a premature ejaculator. Something like that. See, I'm on top of the game. You are. It's only nine twenty. And then our fight of the night came from what? T.J. Grant versus. Uh, yeah. Evan Dunham. Uh, yep. Who they had a slugfest. It's ridiculous. Is Dunham, is his goal just to bleed? Is he trying to be the Stefan Bonner? I think so. He takes beatings quite well. He sure does. And what about Grant's stand-up looking really sharp? That guy's known for submissions, and I guess he went to Thailand for a while and come back, and he looks world-class in the striking. Uh, is, he talking, is he, like, technical, like Amir Sadala? Oh, yeah. More. Oh, <laughs> more even. It's like the coup de gras, bitch. Oh, yeah. Deal with it. Yeah. So, hey. so that was a good fight. And then, of course, Vinny Magales making his uh, UFC return. Clinching. Holding. Yes. Separating. Jacking up arms. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps Vitor Belfort could take a page out of his book. Get his hips out a little bit or in. I don't know, whichever way you turn. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. He locked out that, that uh, arm bar fast. Blew out that arm, which he didn't get submission of the night for. Too bad. So sad. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the main card, shall we? There was a lot of decisions uh, in between let's the, throw a, a the a first little, fight. The KO of the night, Cub Swanson, Sub of the Night, John Jones, and then you mentioned the fight of the night. Yep. $65,000 awarded to each winner. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Oh, we should mention the pre- or post-fight press conference with Dana White just because there, there were a lot of boos during this card, specifically during the flyweights. And they were booing. Oh, yeah. And Canadians then they, don't like the they just guys. gave up. They just gave up booing at some point, too. They got tired. Yeah, it's it a lot much, of work. It's too much booing. And Dana White basically said, if you guys don't like the flyweights, if you didn't like that fight, don't buy the UFC. I don't want your money. What do you well, think that's not that? very smart, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, to me, it sounds like I'm getting free pay-per-view. Woo! Free UFCs, right? I don't know. Yeah, I did not enjoy that fight. I'm sorry. I know they're very technically skilled, and there was a lot of action at times, but let's, let's talk about it when we get to it. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. I did, however, enjoy this one. So talk us through what the hell happened with Charles Oliveira. That I think he broke something. Was there a sniper in the crowd? <laughs> <laughs> so I was on the a second shooter or something? Yeah. Fuck, man. Because he, he, this is one of those fights when we were first talking about it. In my head, I'm going, it's a 50-50. Because mm -hmm. Swanson did look like a beast in his last fight. And Oliveira now is, uh, he's getting streaky. It's he's like, hot and cold. Fuck, yeah. And was he take a huge body shot? Yep, and it kind of, yeah, stumbled him a little bit. He takes a couple steps back. <clears throat> and then what did Swanson hit him with after that? It was a right. A huge right. Like a on, on the overhand? temple? Yeah, like a right. Almost. Right here? Did he break his fucking orbital? Right, right or in what? the eye socket. So... I don't know, there was like two or three seconds, and I, you could see on Oliveira's face, like, ow. And his, I don't know, I don't know if he fell or his leg gave out or what. I think he was just giving up because it was like, that's, that's it, I'm done. It's almost like his brain rattled around, and then finally it's centered yeah. again. I'm like, oh, we're done to go. Is there like some weird connection between like a liver almost knockout and a brain almost knockout where the two together make like a knockout? I thought you were going to say, then they make you shake your pants. <laughs> like, if you could hit the liver. Because he was down for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, so. it looked like he was just like, I'm, I'm done. No Something not right. I'm out. Yeah. Broke my liver. <laughs> Broke his liver. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe if your liver gets rattled and then your brain takes a shot, and it's like, okay, sleepy time. I don't Is know. Is that the dim mock? Maybe. The, the, the death, death touch? touch. Fuck yeah. yeah. So... Was, uh, that one, that was fast, too. I it won was. money on that fight. Did you? you. Very nice. Under a uh, round and a half. Okay. So I bet on six things. I'll mention this. I bet on six things. On BetDSI.com, of course? Yeah, damn right. Dot you. And I only won on two. 
Ouch. <laughs> well, how does that happen? It's, it goes to show, like, when I bet, it doesn't work out. Unless I bet on, like, the round. So you should bet, and I should bet opposite twice as much as you bet. And then right. we're, we're winners then at that yes. point. Okay. The times I win are when it's, uh, like, a, what round or how fast is it going to finish. Okay. So I can't use my knowledge to gain money. Some kind of, like, <laughs> mystical law. It's like a back to the future, right? Yeah. You can't buy that book and go back in time. I wish you could, damn it. Use all that. And oh. we don't need that. Trust me. We don't Next need month, it? It's all good. Dollar, dollar, dollar bills, bills y'all. Dollar bills. Fuck okay. yeah. All right. So next for Swanson, kind of depends what's happening with, fuck it, he should just be number two now. He should? <laughs> Why not? Aldo and then Swanson. Oh, how's his ground game? That's my question. Pretty good. Is it? Did he fight Jim Miller yet? No, right? The, the, the Miller's at 55. We're in 45, so. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I keep, yeah. Yeah. Because Oliveira, yeah, yeah, sorry, he used to bad. be there for a while. But, That's right. Um, could be Edgar. It depends how long Aldo is out, right? If Aldo is out yeah. for a while, you could put Swanson and Edgar yeah, that'd be together. Sure. And see what happens. And then Oliveira, <laughs> Nunes, and who is it? Palszewski. I can't say his fucking name. Yeah. To save my it's life. Polish. Pol the Polish pistol? He the fought Polish on this pistol. Uh, the Punchki? The Pierogi? All oh, delicious, man. by the way. See, Soda pop food ski. reference. <laughs> Sweet. It's delicious. He could take loser of that fight. Okay. So. That's happening like in a week. Yeah, something. October 5th. Two weeks. Maybe. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know what the day it is anymore. Does There's it matter? Two. It doesn't matter. Sometimes I know what day it is. Yeah. Today is Sunday. That I do know. On the set. When this comes out, it likely will be Tuesday or Monday night. I, sh I should have put an X on this next one. Oh, Hamill versus not Matt Yushchenko. Hamill actually fought, uh, what's the guy's name? I forgot. He looked Roger like Hollett. He was pretty fucking beefy. Big dude. <laughs> and not a lot of cardio. Yeah. But surprisingly enough, he survived. I think Hamill was content to stay on his back and just one arm punch him uh, in the back of the head for like an entire two rounds, maybe. Okay, let's say this. <laughs> what? Fuck it. Why does Matt Hamill have a walkout song? I don't know. For the fans. But I think if he if he wants to make an impression. He should just be silent. Fucking silent, man. Don't come out of nothing. Or it should just be like some crazy like bass. So, cause that, you know, like oh, if, if you're yeah. deaf, you know, you can feel the vibration. That's, I guess, how bass. deaf people hear music and stuff. How low can so you just go? Be like, boom, 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 like crazy ass bass. No, no, no words. Just yeah, bass. like 1990s bass. Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah, I'm down be, with that. That's sweet. And I want to mention the refs in that fight, too, because it was with Murigliata. Hey, Matt, don't hit him in the back of the head. Stop hitting him in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. Like, You're Jesus really Christ, you. he can't fucking hear you. Yeah. And they need cue cards or something cue or some a signaling zapper. system. Yeah. Or a uh, cattle prod. That's what we were talking about when the action gets <laughs> stale. The cattle ref prod. has a cattle prod. That's the, ridiculous. It's not. We need some action. There was uh, plenty of stalling. And yes. And the other thing I want to say is, Matt Hamill, get a fucking submission, fucking shit. If you're on top of the guy like that, why doesn't he sink his hooks in? Why doesn't he go for the rear naked choke? It was there all day. Yeah. No? I don't know that he has a great submission game. And it was his first fight back. Maybe the cardio wasn't all there. He's worried about giving up position. I don't know. Also, he's on top of him, right? Know, just, that guy's big. That you know, I don't know. That guy was more of a brawler. So I guess on the ground. He oh, been... no. The mic has fallen. That's a bad... It's all good. They're good mics. It shouldn't that's be That's bad. bad omen. Sorry, listeners. It is. Speaking of bad omens, I, I black cat crossed my path on the road on the way here. Almost killed it. Is that bad luck? Still? No, because your favorite number is 13. So it that is. Negates. So it negates everything. See? Okay. All right. I'll take care of I've that. I've had a lot of bad luck lately. I need some good luck. It's happening. I feel like some shit's going to happen. 2012 is the year of the nut. Could be. Could be. Making it rain, as you say? Yep. Okay. So, next for Hamill. If uh, Matt Yushchenko yeah, can get his Achilles tendon repaired and... How old is he? Oh, it's Achilles? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. That's going to be like a year before he's normal again. Well, then we got problems. That's a big injury. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's <laughs> a huge injury. Well, I always heard, too, yeah. like, if, if, you, if you rupture that thing, that fucker shoots up like a rubber band. Mm-hmm. 
Might even end up in your asshole for all I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a spring-loaded thing. Yeah, it just goes. <sighs> I've had like I can't feel good. Like football injuries, they have found it in guys like in the thigh or whatever. Your groin, your ass cheeks. You're, you're te- <laughs> like, why do I have down? a third testicle all of a sudden? <laughs> it's your actually. not on HGH, yeah. you son of a bitch. Although I remember, was it Terrell Owens came back one year? He ruptured his AC, his uh, Achilles, and he was only out like four weeks or five, six weeks. Because he was like sleeping in that oxygen tank or whatever mm-hmm. and taking all those good vitamins. He says it's because he was like taking acai and all that, all those berries and go, gobi juice and all this shit. But uh, I think maybe there was more involved, but you know, I don't know. Anyways, here with good there. medicine and proper nutrition and vitamins, I'm sure he can come back. Well, quickly. speaking of drugs and MMA, I'll digress a little bit. Oh, no. Did you catch uh, Mac Danzig on the Joe Rogan podcast? I just downloaded it today because I'm always like a week behind, and I plan to listen to it this week. It was right. good. Was it good? He was talking about, Rogan asked him, like, what percentage of fighters do you think are taking steroids or some sort of performance-enhancing drugs? Danzig estimates, uh, I think he said in the 60 to 85% range mm-hmm. of people that are using some sort of performance-enhancing drugs. Okay. But not him, of course? Oh, fuck no. Never. Right. Considered it. Never done it. Okay. Don't say never, man. So I'm just saying, that's interesting. Stop testing for it. doesn't matter. I don't know. They always ask the fighters these questions, and it's like, you really expect an honest answer? They all lie. Yeah. No, I never touched this shit. You're right. What can they say? Yeah, yeah. I'm on the juice. They yeah. can't oh, fucking really? say Oh, really? Guess that fight's, yeah. you know, we you are going to get tested like every day yeah. for a year if you say anything. So no. they have to. You know, I mean, the drug testing is what it is, and it's not, its not, of course, perfect. But at the end of the day, um, you know, there are things where you just kind of have to yeah. let it go. I mean, like, I, I listened to the one where Rogan was talking about Lance Armstrong. I think he was on with uh, Tom Segura or whatever yeah. just recently. And he made a good point. Like, you know, Lance Armstrong passed, like, a thousand drug tests. Yeah, he never he, failed one. Right. So let the shit go already. I mean, I understand, yes, the, there may be people who are cheating in the sport. Everybody but, is. Until you catch them. You can't say anything. They have not been caught. So therefore, what are you going to do? I mean, I, I have my own views on this. I don't know that it should be legal or illegal. I think they need to have a level playing field. Either they allow it and it's monitored and it's provided by the proper doctors and whatnot, or it just has to be banned completely. Because it's not fair. I mean, come on, a Brock Lesnar or Anderson Silva with huge money can get way better drugs than Joe Schmo coming True. off the street and, you know, it's not fair. So here's a question. Yes. What if the only way, like, say the only way you could be on the juice or the only performance-enhancing drug was if a horse had to fuck you up the ass? Mm-hmm. Then what percentage of fighters are going to be on it? You would be surprised. I you'd bet. still think it's going to be in the high 90s. Come on, man. The glory, the glory of, like, victory no in the pain, cage. No pain, no gain. Fuck it. You got to take it. Take it for the team. I bet you the number wouldn't change one bit. Oh. It may even go up. Okay, what if it's an outfit? That's, you're I dead. Know. I mean, you're going to die. Did the guy die from getting fucked by a horse or yeah. something? Yeah. It it's not pretty. I won't look at it. Is there a video of it? Oh, yeah. There oh. is. Fuck that. Who would watch that? <laughs> Sick fuckers. <laughs> so it's like, did you ever watch Faces of Death? Is it? Yeah. That's I mean, like a high school thing. You got to check it out. Yeah, right? I watched a couple. I mean, it was like, eh, whatever. Like, eh, I don't need to see not into that die. stuff. Because you know what? You start watching that, and I don't want to, I don't want to become desensitized to those horrific types of things. Because I feel like, if shit goes down, I, I want to have some type of a reaction to rea- reality <laughs> happening versus like, oh, yeah, guy got his head run over by a car. Big deal. I mean, aren't yeah. you a little bit desensitized now? Because with all these broken arms and blood, like Maybe. seeing blood now, it's yeah, no big deal. Me. Except it's, if it's my own, I still have a problem with that. Yeah? It's fucked up. It's like weird. Like when I get blood, I can't look. Oh, yeah, uh, it's, 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 not, it's not the pain at all. It doesn't, it doesn't it's, it's just like... Because they're always like, oh, it's going to hurt only hurt. I'm like, I don't care. I'm, I know it's going to hurt. That's not what I'm worried about. I don't want to see myself bleeding into a fucking <laughs> vial, okay? I and just then you don't. replace the vial. Yeah, and then you keep adding vials. And then one time, this is the one time I, I almost passed out, is they pulled it out and the blood started oozing out. And I was like, whoa, I just remember sitting in the chair and everything started going wacky. And I, I remember the person talking to me and I was like sweating. <laughs> or, oh, did you hear his yeah right and the lady i could see the lady her eyes looked she was so scared she thought i was gonna like 
pass out or whatever. I mean, I was sitting down. We need some OJ, stat, <laughs> get us some chocolate yeah. chip cookies. It was weird because it's like one of those. The only other time that happened to me is when I found that I was allergic to, uh, to wasps when I got stung. I remember like getting stung and then. We are Satan's people. A couple of weeks, a couple of minutes went by. Uh, and I was like standing on the car and I just remember like putting my hand on the, on the hood. And just like all of a sudden, I'm just sliding down and I'm laying on the ground. I'm like, this is fucked up. And then, I, and then everything went black. So, did you ever get. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> did you get raped? No. Like, what happened? I came to, and then they took me to the hospital. And by came the time, to. Awesome. By the time I got there, it was already okay. So, it's been a very long time since I got stung. I used to have those sting kits, but yeah. I say, fuck it. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I told you I will I will puncture you with I doesn't will, go in the I heart. will pulp fiction you motherfucker <laughs> not in the heart I will I'll I carry some on standby okay. just in case ephedrine uh, not a epinephrine <laughs> yeah I gotta break that yeah. it doesn't right. go in the heart it goes in the leg come on <laughs> okay I'm gonna give you a shot let me stick it in your heart not in the heart yeah it's all <sighs> good whatever yeah. Yeah, all that's right. a fucked up feeling how do we get on that track I don't know uh, it doesn't matter. Well, anyways, this one's over. moving along, right along, to, ooh, interesting, what were your thoughts on this? Uh, hmm, let's see, how many illegal things did Bunga Bisbing do during <laughs> this fight? Hmm. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to have to refer to ball my shots. notes. Let's see, ball shots. But Stan got him back. Yeah, but I think Bisbing had two to Do-one. Stan's one. Yeah. Eye pokes, I think Bisbing got two. And once again, the ref missed those. Were, I think he got an eye and a thumb. Uh, three, the right. grasping of the top of the cage. You probably got a good seven to eight of those in. Mm-hmm. And what was the other one? Oh, the head. He was like borderline headbutting him at times. So he yeah. just kept grinding the head, grinding the head. It's a legal move. I know you don't like it, but it's a legal move. <sighs> it's it's a ju- guys do jiu-jitsu. Dirty, dirty, man. You can use the head as like another weapon. Keep people down. As long as you're not going, do, actually, are headbutts illegal? They yeah. Are. Okay. They used to be legal, but everything was. You bring that shit back. No biting. Yeah. No, no biting. No ball smashing with your hands. See if it says that on the wall right there. It's the last rule for tough man. No biting. Oh, nice. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, the, my takeaway from this fight yeah. is, is that, um, all due respect, Brian Stan for as much as he's marketed as this great uh, American hero, obviously I'm, he seems like a really nice guy. I think skill-wise, he's just not at the at the level where he needs to be either now or ever Ooh, to be competing at, at you know this 185. For you gonna this, take that, Brian Stan? For, for for a title, I mean, I, I'm not saying Bisping necessarily is either to go up against Anderson Silva, but oh, I think he's totally ready for Anderson Silva. What are you killed. talking about? <laughs> I think he should be, <laughs> fight Anderson Silva. I think it yeah. should be fucking pride rules. Okay. I think there should be sorry kicks to the head. Well. I mean, if Bisbing ran through him, and I know that Stan, you know, he beat up Lieben, and he's had a few good fights, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, he's a good, strong brawler with decent, maybe, like, wrestling-type stuff. He, his takedown defense was pretty good. Yeah, but I mean, otherwise... He eventually got down, though. On the ground, not so great. Technically, not so great, so... And I think the the biggest difference in this fight was just speed. Like, yeah. the speed was unbelievable, like he just kept tagging him, and I, I didn't get to see the jab. what Douche. the percentage of Douche. punches thrown by Bisbing were landed, but it almost seemed like it had to be close to when uh, Nate Diaz yeah. fought Donald Cerrone, like that percentage of like every time he's throwing, it's fucking landing, landing, yeah. landing. Like, holy they shit. They were saying, that, I, I heard 70s at some point, like yeah. 78% or something after the second it round. Was, it was up there because he just he had no answer. No. So what do you think's next for... Um, the count. Well, I think it was yours. I think it was Weidman, right? Yeah, I think those two should fight. Weidman thinks he should fight Silva. Bisbing thinks he should fight Silva, so they should fight each other. That's the problem, because then Weidman will murder Bisbing. Probably. And then I won't get to see Anderson murder him. Bisbing? Yeah. Oh. It's unfortunate. Come on, Mike. <laughs> he's got the cardio, you know, and he's got a good ground game. I mean, Weidman's tough. He's a really tough wrestler. I think Bisbing's worst is when he's on his back, so I think Weidman can do that to him, take him down. Which would be interesting, and he's got power too. But Bisping is a cardio machine, man. That guy just yeah. takes you into deep water. You, in that that crazy f- fact that Rogan was asking him in that post 
fight interview mm -hmm. about his resting heartbeat was oh, like yeah. in the low 38. 30s or something. Crazy. Like, what the fuck? Are you dead? Are you a vampire? Yeah, Do you like, even have a heartbeat? I remember. He is the count, Ingo. The count. Yes. Lance Armstrong said that his was like 39 or 40 or something. I remember him. I think that's because he only had one testicle, right? It could be. <laughs> your, your heart Less. rate drops at 30 beats per minute. Of, maybe Bisping had his testicles removed. See? Maybe that's why he's such a cunt. That's the secret. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Low blow. I'm just kidding. Uh, he's my favorite fighter. Did I mention that? I, he seems pretty nice, man. The guy's like, it's got. It's just the thing. He's like, drawing on he's, me. He's kind of like. He seems like a guy who really plays up his role. Like, yeah, he, he's just total heel. But I bet he's like the biggest, like, nice guy, a family man, like, cool dude to hang around with in general. But like for the for he just this is how he makes a living. So fuck yeah. it. Yeah. He's not? he's gaining fans. Sure. Go get they some fans, Mike. They weren't all booing him. Yeah. Praise uh, Jesus when you're done, too. Yeah. You know. In Canada? Yeah. I thought they, they're not a god, like, aren't they, like, anti-Jesus or something? I don't know. Are not, they? Not Canadians. I thought, like, there was this big thing about not playing up the god thing in Canada. I thought I read some kind of weird interview somebody did. It was saying, like, Tone down the God stuff in Canada or Hey, something? you Canadian fellows, let know. us know on that one. You guys are watching. I mean, I don't know. If, if, I'm sure religion is big, but is it like you guys frown upon your athletes, like thanking God after victory? Uh, well, I think just myself, I think it's the most ridiculous thing ever. Mm -hmm. really, God's giving you power to beat someone's ass. Or... Right. Why does God care about your ass whooping ability? I don't give a fuck. You might not even be real. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't know. You got to believe in something, Matt. Grass-fed beef. Mm, that's true. Delicious. Non-fluorided water. <laughs> mm, what? I don't know what. All right. Next for Stan. Uh, this is a Be good... Can, Belfort, can you fight him? Depends. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I like it. Two brawlers. Red Herman. All right, let's move right along. I, this, this next fight, it's killing me because I got to get to it. Holy shit. First flyweight title ever delivered in the UFC. Huh. Where to start, Ingo? Well, let me ask you this. Did you think it was a split decision? I thought I it, was it was pretty clear cut that Mighty Mouse won. Yeah, I, I would almost give him almost every round, pretty much. I mean, he was... Yeah, I mean... 49-48. From what, what I remember seeing, I would... Uh, said four to one but it, i'll just say i fell asleep four times during this fight was it was it the fight or the chili uh, um maybe a little bit of both a little bit of both okay i'll just say that uh i'm not a fan of the flyweights it, it just it doesn't do anything for me i think what could make it a little more exciting is if we reduce the cage size like you said hey look at that little black octagon that's inside it would probably shrink it by like three feet on each side that would make it a little more exciting. That's like, you look at the WEC. Why were those fights so exciting? The cage is Shrunken fucking cage. smaller. I, these little dudes, that cage is too fucking big, man. Maybe we reduce the cage somehow. You have another cage drop down yeah. and another one goes up somehow. You guys are smart. Figure that shit out. Then yeah. I might like it more. Yeah. Right now, not interested. Yeah, I don't know. You do know, it for me. The other problem is, too, I think as, a, as like a polarizing... Um, division. Mm -hmm. There aren't like cats and dogs, you know, heels and, and heroes at this point. It's just kind of like guys fighting. And maybe that's part of it too, where the other weight classes, you have guys that have been around and you kind of know, you, you pick people to root for. And these guys are kind of unknown in, in the general circle and they're smaller. I mean, they're fast, they're exciting. It's but too fast. It's just like kind of exhausting watching it. And then when they start to play this. Like, Mighty Mouse, no doubt, is fast, but at, so, at, at points there, I was like, man, this guy's, like, just playing around, like, to elude the guy. Like, it was like Machida style in the beginning, you know, like, oh, you can't hit me. I'm too fast. Man. Here I am. No, I'm not. I'm behind you now. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> now I roll. Now I jump. <laughs> Look at that. You thought you could hit me, but now I'm on your side. So, I mean, no doubt, Mighty Mouse is fast, and, you know, I mean. They're fast and skilled, and I appreciate the talent. Just personally, yeah. I'm not a fan. I don't think they can pull headline a cart. I, I think, I think, honestly, don't I, don't. I don't think they can pull the numbers at this point. No. So, maybe they should bring the females in at this weight class. Ooh. I like that action. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ronda Rousey versus one sure. of these guys. 
Well, it's it's weird too because Dana always likes to say the lack of depth in the women's division that why you can't have it in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Well, look at this division. Got like five. Tell me, there's a a wealth of talent to fight here. Yeah. I don't know. Jockeys. (laughs) Jockeys. They were in five four and go. Jesus Christ! They came up to Murgulata's nipples. Yeah. They were beforehand. Tiny. They were Everybody big. in the audience. There was a dude sitting down that was almost as tall as Mighty Mouse, for fuck's sake. I don't know what to tell you, man. They're I, very talented. They are talented. I, I don't want to discredit their ability. It's just, uh, for my money, I'm not a huge fan at this point. And maybe they can make some changes. The cage would be a good idea. Here's a question. Uh-oh. Oh. Do I stand a sporting chance against a 125-er? I know I'm not going to hit him. I think, but can I get my paws on him? I think it'd be fun to watch because I honestly think, even though you're so much bigger, I don't think you could get your hands on. I one think of them. you're right. I don't. I don't think. I you don't could, want that. Fight. I think it would be like ridiculous. <laughs> like you would. You would try to do shit, and Mighty Mouse would just be like behind you, next to you, under you, over you, on top how, of you. Right. Like, and how demoralizing would that be? <laughs> like you got eighty pounds on this dude, and he kicks your ass. Like yeah. I would rather go in and fight. Uh, any fucking heavyweight in the UFC. And just get knocked out. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Go out with a bang. Yeah. Because yeah. at least then, hey, you, you were going to lose. <laughs> you had no chance. That guy had like 60 pounds on you. <laughs> Here, like, I think that ain't good for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It'd, it'd be pretty bad. I don't yeah. know that they could, anybody could, I don't think you could really do like serious damage. Maybe a, some weird submission of some type, but. Oh, and, and then if I, if I don't get them in the first. Yeah, three minutes. I am so fucking gassed. <laughs> like, could you imagine twenty-five minutes of me getting my ass kicked? No. Like, oh, dude, I can't breathe, uh, motherfucker. I, well, stop working me. <laughs> That'd be I brutal. Could picture the corner. Oh, Matt, fuck. Matt, are you in there? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Matt just like tell this kick. guy to finish me already. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I've got a good chin, but fuck, put Tell me him out to of put it. Put me out. He's just walking around, please. Oh Finish god. Me. No, I don't know. I think two of them on one on one like light heavyweight would be I, awesome. Oh no, I'd still see like two of them against the heavyweight. I think that would be the best. Yeah. Like uh, both of these guys against Junior Dos Santos. Who wins? Ah, uh, probably the two guys. <laughs> I don't know. Dos Santos has pretty big. He's pretty fast for a heavyweight, I right? know, but he can't move his feet that fast. I think they'd be running circles around him. What are they going to do, though? <laughs> Climb up him? One on his leg, one on his head. Is it like a ride Just at Disneyland? Yeah. This is Space Mountain. I can't see shit. I don't know. Just saying. It would be interesting. I think that's the league we need to make. Featherweights. Two featherweights versus one heavyweight. Yeah. People would pay money for that. Fuck yeah. Get rid of this arm wrestling and MMA bullshit. Get this. That's what we're saying. Right along. Sponsors! We have MMAHQ.com, the world's best daily deal site. Featuring the latest fighters, trends, and brands. They sell one item per day until it's sold. Beginning at what time? 11. 11 Eastern. That's right, Matt. Ten cent I'm on top of my game. You know it. Also check out BJJ you know HQ, it. Martial Arts Supply, uh, you know, Karate they Depot. Karate Depot. They got some supplement HQ. Bum hip. They got all kinds of shit. Go there. You can load up on all kinds of good goodies and uh, crack rocks. See a big winner. Crack rocks. Yes. That, that's big for 2012. What's that? The um, crack rocks. Yeah. Mm. I was making it come back. Crack. Yep. Crack is whack, man. Whitney yep. Houston. R.I.P. Yes. Also brought to you by Defensa. Bobby Brown's still alive, by the way. Yes, he is. Isn't that fucked up? No. Bobby Brown's still alive, but Whitney Houston's dead. Doesn't surprise me. He's the one who got her all drugged up. That's fine. He can, he can handle his shit, all right? Too bad. <laughs> uh, he's probably going to ever be on got to cool it now. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, speaking of cool, it defense soap, where offense wins matches and defense keeps you on the mat. Last week, Matt had a taste of the soap, which uh, you're still alive, so that's good. Uh, it uh, must be gluten free. Yeah. So, still smells Which delicious. Tempted me with another leg. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, try this shit. One thing I didn't, I forgot sure. to keep mentioning, is uh, besides the soap, which is excellent for after jujitsu or whatever you like so to do. Smells so good. I want to eat it. I'm kind of hungry. They have healing salve. They have uh, like oils and stuff so like when when you're grappling a lot of times i find i get like these burns on you know from 
from whatever on, on the on, on your arm or on your mm. foot, especially the toes get jacked up. So I rub some of that shit on there for a couple of days, and it seems to make everything heal faster. And it's the the cool thing is too is like the the oils, they have some sort of like uh, pain killing effects. I don't know what's in it. I need to find out. But you know, like sometimes you have like a sting or something around here, and it burns. Mm -hmm. You put that stuff on there, it like soothes it right away, and the pain goes away. So you should check it out. And don't forget that we still have the code. MMA nuts, where you can save 15% yes. on, on orders uh, at defensehope.com. So go there, uh, spend your money, and enjoy, uh, what is it, um, good soap that is also chemically free, chemical free, I don't know, whatever, Sure. for your balls. Is and, it uh, like a bag balm for your chapped teats? Yes. Nice. Nice. <laughs> There's a bag bomb. Comes out like every 40 episode <laughs> reference. <laughs> Still don't know what the That's fuck like that shit is. I got it upstairs. Okay. I'll bring it out again. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, maybe I'll use it tonight. Nice. You never know. On your teats? No, on my head. Okay. I don't want to know. I'm just uh, sad. <laughs> also brought to you by BetTSI.com, where you can bet on MMA and all sports and get a 20% bonus. Uh, check That's out, right. what is it, code MMA Nuts and get your bonus. Yeah. Be there. And last but not least, Bard's Beer, best gluten-free beer in the world. You go to bardsbeer.com, you can find a retailer or a location near you. Amen, brother. Sweet. Let's move on. Yep. Right, the main event! I gotta piss. What? I'm not pissing, I'm just saying, I gotta piss. <laughs> okay. Because that's like code for pissing. drink. Okay, drink. drink I'm drink, going drink. to piss my pants one of these shows. You know. I, will, I promise the fan. The fan has to turn so the air blows that way. <laughs> so I don't smell like warm piss. <laughs> <laughs> like, What's oh, wrong with it? Uh, my piss does smell bad. Smell it every it's day. It's so vitamin-y. My, my son, you know, he still does a pull-up, so in the morning, yeah. it's like piss smell. And he's still working on getting it in the toilet sometimes, so it's like, Jesus Christ, to go in there, it's like World War III happening. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, did you get it in the toilet, or it's on the wall? It's, it's fucking he's everywhere. He's doing his best, man. <laughs> he's trying. Sometimes he gets in a hurry. But speaking of getting in a hurry, the John Jones Vitor Belfort <sighs> fight almost ended in a hurry yeah did you expect it to go the way it did i was a little bit surprised i'd have to say well i want to say i'm not gonna say that john jones was injured before this fight but he sure didn't look like he was there like mm -hmm. it looked like a different john jones and i don't know if he's looking past vitor or what but mm -hmm. he sure looked off his game you think it was the early arm bar that jacked up his arm that fucked with his head Maybe he that didn't help. He felt he, he lost that aura of invincibility, and he was like, "Whoa, I can really lose in here." So yeah, he he said that in the post fight press conference too. Like, "Hey, I'm not supposed to lose like this." So yeah. I think that fucked with his head for a couple rounds, yeah. and then two, you know, he's got his arm jacked up, so he's only got to throw left elbows, left elbows, and then understanding, you know, how many kicks. I'm gonna ask you this question too. I know. The, the kick to the knee is a legal strike. What's your take on that? I don't like it. Anderson Silva does it, and I don't like it when he does it. I don't like John Jones doing it. I think it's dirty because, you know what, for the, for many reasons, just why, like, a kick to the balls is dirty, it's the knee. Anybody can jack up the knee. I mean, is that really considered, like, technically better fighting-wise if you can jack up someone's knee? I don't think so. Um it's a bitch move. It's Stop bullshit. doing it. Yeah, I mean, I understand why he does it, but Vitor took it in stride. I thought he was all right with it. Yeah, he just <laughs> walked taking, into it. Like, yeah, that's what you got to do. I think you got to, like, uh, base out and point the knee so that you don't get it, like, jacked back. Yeah, because didn't he, he did that to uh, fucking Rampage, didn't he? Yeah, same thing. He jacked his knee yeah. that time. Yeah. It's bullshit. It's dirty. It is dirty. I don't like it, but it seems to be, a, it fucks with guys in there. I'm sure they're thinking about it, like, fuck, this guy's going to blow my knee out, so... Sucks. So let's see. So Vitor pulls guard and, and then, then pulls scrambles. Guard and then pulls guard. <laughs> Pulling a lot of guard in the fight, but he almost finished. Yeah. And uh, what he said from what I read online about, uh, he said that as soon as he felt the arm crackle and snap, he lost pressure. And therefore, that's well, when Jones escaped. Lost pressure because he let up? Or I don't know, it wasn't clear. He lost pressure because it. It popped. It might be. I think he was good. trying to say, like, when it popped, like, the tight, the pressure released, and that gave Jones an opportunity to pull it out. I don't think Vitor would let it, would, it doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would, like, stop. Because in the post-fight press conference, it seemed like that's what he was saying. Oh, that, really? Like, he kind of gave up on it to not destroy the arm. Really? Yeah. Fuck that. 
Exactly. It could have been the champ. If you were Paul Harris, <laughs> that arm's what do you think's going to happen? Off. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ronda you're Rousey. Frank Mir? No fear on a Rousey. Yeah. Come on now. You got to shred that it shit. It seemed like he had that. I don't know. I guess maybe he, I don't know. A lot of, a, a lot of guys in that position, like, um, maybe they would have rolled on their stomach and tried to, like, get more leverage mm. at that time to, get, to, like, pull up hard. I don't know. Or get his hips more into it. I, I don't know what the deal is. I, I thought he was really going to snap it off, but. I, I always, anytime I see it, I want to see it broke. Yeah. <laughs> I break don't know. Shit. Saying, well, go on, it. break it. Break it. <laughs> Yeah, Frank Mir wouldn't have uh, thought twice about it. No, that would have been, you said, John, like, this for, I don't know, a good six months to a year. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Carl Vitor's O'Gara? just happy. He was happy to be contending and making all that money and just, you know, John Jones, a young guy. Whatever. Vitor seemed a little punch drunk at the post. Did he? Yeah, because I think a lot of those elbows landed. And... That's the strategy for Belfort. I don't quite understand. Like, I can get the first round where he was, went down and damaged the arm. Okay, but then, you know, you look at, what, the second and third round. He wasn't really punching that much. Like, yeah. why are you just standing there? What are you doing? Well, and then John's just kicking away. Yeah, yeah. Well, they said that Vito had a broken hand coming into the fight. So how does that even happen? Do well, they not have doctors to check these things out? They do, but, you know... Stuff gets passed up. I don't know. Or he's just sick of, like, people calling him a pussy and, like, wives calling him a pussy for pulling out of fights. Wives called him a pussy? Oh, like Vanderlei Silva, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> they that still need to fight, one, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, they should. That would be a good matchup. Yeah. To still do that in Brazil. So, you got to credit John Jones now, because now he's tied Tito's record for the most consecutive title defenses. And going through a little adversity, gaining back some fans in the process, mm -hmm. right? I have a hard time knowing if that guy's genuine in, in his approach. So I'm not sure I'm buying this new humble old John Jones before kind of, I don't know. It remains to be seen, but definitely you said, like you said, he wasn't himself in that fight. It seemed like, you know, just kind of. Maybe he was, it almost seemed like he was mentally elsewhere and yeah. checked out, like thinking about something else. I don't know what guys go through when they're fighting, but um, even sitting on the stool, it seemed like he was just wasn't listening yeah, to what like, they were saying. Um, glassed over, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but you're right. I mean, he, he handled it, finished it in the fourth. As soon as he had opportunity, it was like that. It was like, ah. Yeah. Oh. I got your arm, bitch. Yeah. Funk. Oh, he happy tap. tap. Right away. Yeah. Nasty. Hey, well, I mean, you got to credit him, too. He's finishing all these guys. They're champions or former champions. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's a question of guys that are, you know, it's you can't dictate who you're going to fight at what point they're at, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Because, like, you look at he's beat Shogun, finished him, uh, Machida, Rampage, and you know, it's a decision with Evans, mm -hmm. and now he finishes Belfort. But mm -hmm. I'd argue maybe four of those guys might be past their prime. Possibly. But here's a question is, even though that I'm not a huge fan of his, yeah. would you say that at this point he may have had the toughest road for the title and during a title reign, even tougher than like what Tito had at the time? And he may have had the toughest and the easiest at the same. Ooh, interesting. How's that possible? Former champions okay. that are past their prime. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I think the only thing that makes sense for me at this point, and I know it's not going to happen, is I want to see him fight Anderson Silva. Because I feel like as much as I thought Jones was going to destroy Anderson Silva, I see a weakness in him now after these last couple of fights, like the decision with Rashad. and now mm. this, I think Anderson Silva has a really good chance of beating John Jones. And I, I really want to see that fight. And, you know, obviously that's not going to happen, <laughs> I don't think. But, no. um, what, well, what, what is next for John? This is a good question because Henderson's going to fight Machida now. No? I, I think it's that one is still the hypothetical is what Dana said. Oh, I thought it was done deal. Oh, I think enough people said, this is bullshit. Nobody wants to see Bullsh that. No. I, so it looks like Henderson could be there, but I think everyone wants to see Son versus Jones. I know I do. I love it. I'll take it. I'd rather see that more than Henderson. I know Henderson... Deserves it, but yeah. Sonnen would draw more. I mean, and Dana's still probably a little... It seems like they made nice, but 
just make the sun and fight, man. Well, you know, a sun and probably needs to fight it to a five at least once before. Well, he's got the the griffin fight, so I think that'll dictate okay. what will happen. Like if he gets past Griffin, which he should. Forgot about that. I one. mean, but Griffin's on top then. <laughs> no, he's but not. But Sonnen was number two at 185. He was definitely ranked higher than Belfort. Sure. So fucking a, give it to Sonnen. <laughs> Some of this shit fails to make any sense. It anymore. does. It's just <laughs> like uh, Anderson Silva versus uh, I don't know uh, Stefan Bonner. Yeah, why not? He's top 20, right? Yeah, no. Admit, yeah, probably. I don't know. At 205? Yeah. <laughs> At 205, he's yes. probably top 20. Yeah, overall. Top 10? No. Yeah, no. So, and then the question for Balfour, is he going to stay at 205 or he's getting 185? Old. What is his age? 34? He's, I think, 33 or 34. Yeah. He's getting up there. I think at 185 maybe it doesn't make sense for him. He's always had trouble down there getting getting the weight. So, at 205, uh, I don't know. What about Balfour versus Sonnen? That's still a good fight, too. Hmm? And and Belfort said he kind of liked 205 because he didn't have to cut that much weight. huge. Oh, my God. <laughs> when you saw his back, I just looked. I'm like, that is totally drug-free. There's no... He does not look like he looks in this picture here. He looks way bigger than in this oh picture. Oh, my God. His back was so he's small. Got veins Holy and shit. He's like in Sylvester Stallone territory near almost. You know what I mean? He's in the 90%. Old guy, like... He's not a 10%er. I don't know. Not saying just anything. Saying, just so. saying. But yeah, let's just move right along. Moving right along to. We'll leave that one alone. Viewer mail, Mr. Matt Griffith. Do you okay. have mail for us today? Yes, I do. Matthew Sambunpol. Sorry if I fuck your name up, but deal with it. Namesake. Why did Vitor pull guard? I don't know, because he his probably because his hand was broken and he thought he could submit him, which he almost did. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, like, I Good question. Ask back. him. I don't know. He's Brazilian. They pull guard. on his back with another man between his legs. Sometimes. It's awkward. Missionary, if you will. Hmm. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, Greg Lafon asks: If Dana White called either of you for a chance to compete on Tough, would you take the opportunity? Or would being away from your families, quitting your jobs, or the overall risk not be worth it? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. First of all, I would never go on tough because I could not win. I guarantee you that. I'm not skilled enough. Now, if it was like the ultimate fighter slash chef cooking edition, <laughs> I would do that. Okay, I'd cook up some shit. But uh, I don't know, man. It's no. I, I can tell you right now, even if I was good enough, I don't have the mentality to be a fighter. I, I think you have to be slightly nuts. You, on the other hand, I think you could. Uh, maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, maybe not now. At 38, not well, so Well, if you get a, you know, some good medicine, you know. That's true. The maybe I need a therapeutic use exemption. TUA for TUF. Yeah, you could do all right. Yeah, I'd, I'd go crazy in that fucking house. <laughs> I, I can't live with all these douchebags, like, drinking and nonsense yeah. Yeah, and no yeah. TV and no internet. And no books. No family. Fuck that. No I couldn't do calls, that now. Nothing. And the other question he asks, also, if each or if you could each pick a coach to be your coach on tough they could be prior coaches from tough or someone you think would make a great coach on tough who would they be and why does it have to be a fighter so that's usually how it goes yeah it can be whoever you want how's that uh okay well honestly i would i think i would take greg jackson mm -hmm. I, I think agree. for for uh given that i'm not that skilled i think he would come up with some kind of plan that Give me, it gives me a chance to win, whatever it is. So I'll take him any day. Why not? So. Yeah, I want him. And uh, if I got to put a, a, a face on, like if I had a, a fighter and a camp, I'll take a little Alistar Overeem as my fighter. Ooh. Even though I'm going to take Greg Jackson camp. <laughs> okay, Alistar Overeem. Yeah, I want a, a big motherfucker in there that's very skilled in striking. Okay. And will teach me some shits. Nice. All right, here we go. Daniel Ivanovich. I'm shooting. Russian, maybe? Ingo and Matt question. One, why is Tito always saying the same stuff in every single interview? I fought my heart. I fought my soul. I was hurt. I gave my best. I helped to build the sport, etc. He wants to get recognized for his shit. Mm. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. Recognize, bitch. Recognize. Uh, I think it's almost. He's got a, a a script, and it's just embedded in his brain, and this is what he's sticking to. Like blah 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 every time, and he doesn't deviate. This is my script. He's almost like an actor. Mm-hmm. So, question two. It's not gonna happen, but imagine Bisbing versus Nick Diaz and Tough. What would happen? The house burned down. I don't know. I don't know if those can those two guys get enough animosity between the two of them to really make it interesting. I'm not sure. This is this is a good question. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I guess if if the 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 asshole count shows up like he was on on one of the seasons, I think he could rile Diaz <laughs> up enough to start some shit. Yeah. But well, yeah, Mayhem had him going pretty good. Did he? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But then he kicked his ass. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> So. And then Bisbing fell off. What was it? They were playing, was it pool or something? He was up on a table, and remember he tried to, like, jump off. Oh, yeah, he fell down. He, Ugh, fuck! <laughs> Cracked his skull or something. Yeah. I'm just saying. Watch air, your air hockey? Pool? Air something. Air. There was a table. That's all I remember. Hmm. Move right along. Emil Van Erickson. Why didn't Vitor blitz him? Even when he landed, he did what? All Jones' opponents do except Machida. Land once and then go tentative again. Mm. I don't ever recall him actually really putting him on his heels. I mean, he hit him a few times with yeah. some kicks and stuff, but I don't think there was ever that point where it was like, oh, Jones is stumbling. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it, the, Blitz, the Blitzkrieg idea sounds nice on paper, but, you know, he, he made it four rounds as ugly as it was. Yeah. I think if he does a Blitz, he probably makes it a couple minutes. That's it. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. do you think his cardio was there? I, uh, no. no. <laughs> he had the one round and that was it, yeah. right? But, I mean, maybe, I would say maybe Jones, you know, let him off the hook by not pressuring him as much either. So, I, I, yeah, the blitzing thing, I don't think it was a good plan. It would have been nice. I, would, I wanted <laughs> to see the blitz, I'm not going to lie. All right, Frank Fleming asks, why does Vitor stand in front of people and not do a damn thing when he has a title shot? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, he's gay as fuck. Ouch. I don't know. I'm just That was rude. That was rude. <laughs> Sorry. Who knows what goes through people's heads? Sometimes, you know, it happens to me in jiu-jitsu. Sometimes you what? just, you know, you're, you're grappling, you're grappling, and you see openings, but you just don't do anything. You're just like, I don't know, for whatever reason, you just don't pull the trigger. You know, maybe you're tired. Maybe you're worried about the thing that happens after you do the next thing, or maybe you're just, you know... You're just going to let someone steamroll you because for no fucking reason. I, I don't know. It just I think that's all it is. It's just like sometimes you just get deer caught in the headlights. I don't know. His corner was yelling at him the whole time. Who? To do something. Vitor. Vitor. Yeah, like, I don't know, overshot Evan. You could hear him. Do Like, I don't know, do something and then do the seven, whatever the seven is. We were talking about this before. <laughs> Might be some weird sexual <laughs> position, I'm guessing. Grab I don't his know. balls and massage them. He likes that. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. Shave him, lick him. Rusty trombone. Rusty trombone. Yeah. All right. Robert Lilly asked, did Bones look a bit unmotivated and uninterested against Belfort? And why didn't Dana put the belt on him? Uh, I'll take the belt question. Okay. I, I thought it was the Canadian UFC guy, but actually I, I made a mistake. That guy's <laughs> like 60 years old. There is a guy who they're supposedly work grooming to take over, but I guess that kid won some kind of contest. And it's not the first time, so I don't think there was anything like other than it was a contest to take out of it because they did it before, like, Ten UFCs ago, yeah. So no big deal. What was the? I don't know the first part. You can answer. Oh, that uh, did he look a little unmotivated and uninterested? Oh, well, you mentioned. Yeah, he did. You thought so, yeah. And I don't yeah. know if he was because he didn't want to fight Belfort or uh -huh. taking a fight on short notice somewhat. Yeah. Who knows? It was, it was just it was awkward. Ryan Smith asks, "Who do you think has the best BJJ and MMA?" Maya, Verdum, Vinny. Right like now, BJJ yeah. and MMA, I'd have to think. I, I I don't know. I mean, I know guys say that Frank Mir shit is simple and all this, and I know a lot of the Brazilians I learn from have an opinion about Frank Mir, but, dude, the guy's fucking breaking arms and shit on some top-level guys. I mean, it's 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 hard to argue that his jiu-jitsu for MMA may not be top-notch. I mean, you could say Hydra Gracie, who's now fighting MMA, but I think gi jiu-jitsu is a whole different ballgame versus, you know, when guys can punch you in the face. Mm -hmm. So, 
Maya's in there, but I haven't seen it in a long time, so I I, I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Uh, um, Jiu-Jitsu's magic. <laughs> it's magic. Uh, do I have the Dave Herman answer. Yeah. You that. have no opinion at all. I don't know. There's a lot of good guys. It's just BJ Penn's still in the mix. He just hasn't fought in a while. I mean, it's like who who stands out? I mean, who's doing funky shit, crazy shit? Well, it was like Maya was, and then he just wanted to strike. Yeah, he's become... Uh, so, I'd probably argue Maya. Still? Yeah. Not Frank Mir's not on the radar, at least? He's on the radar. It's not Brazilian. How can I pick him? It's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There you go. Is he a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? That he is. And why do they need to keep pointing that out every fucking fight that it's I watch? It's for the new fans, man. For the people just you know, tuning this guy in. is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. But you know really? what? No, you don't say. There is a difference. They need to come up with like another scale because, okay, Vitor Belfort, Joe Rogan mentioned in the podcast, he's had a black belt since 96 or what do you say? 86? Something like that. Maybe <laughs> when did you get your black yeah. belt? Or if you're not a black belt, tell me what belt the guy is. He's a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. That might be more beneficial. I'm just going to assume everyone has a black belt, right? But there's so many different levels of that, too. True. If you, Vitor's had it for almost 20 years. I and mean, it should be, who, who did they get it from? Yeah. He's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Carlson Gracie or... John Jacques Machado. Right. Caprito! Yeah, exactly. I'll be like 80 and Caprito's going to be like... Why gold? <laughs> Finally, good job. <laughs> you get your purple belt. This thing cost you eighty five thousand dollars. <laughs> Hope you well, enjoy. It's not like it's at least it's not like taekwondo where yeah. there's fucking sixty five yeah, belts yeah. and, and it's forty bucks every time. Oh my god, <laughs> motherfuckers! It's just a scam. Just, just saying. Yeah. They don't beat you in taekwondo when you get a belt though. No, no. Which sucks balls. But you, the black belt class was total bullshit. Yeah, like, you had to go for. I don't know how many weeks and pay six hundred dollars just for that stupid. And there's class. your belt, baby. Yep. A lot of the Taekwondo old ass instructors I see are all out of shape. How come? Is it a, is it a bullshit like? Well, some of them were out of shape and some weren't. But the the self defense that they try to teach these kids in the class, I'm just sitting there watching them try to teach my daughter. And as soon as the class is over, I'm like, okay, everything you just learned right now, just don't fucking it. throw that out <laughs> the window. That. that was complete bullshit. <laughs> that is a great way to get your ass kicked. Yeah. Don't ever do that. Like, why you just, you this is for self-esteem. Right. You know? It's not, you're trying to teach them self-defense. Fuck that shit. You guys don't yeah. know what the fuck you're talking about. This yeah. complete nonsense and do this and that. And like. Oh my God! I, I'm Don't just do gonna it. Pull her out of the room right now. She get her into jujitsu. I mean, we do a little. She get her in there. Come on, come on, Taekwondo background, jujitsu. <laughs> All of a sudden, you gotta start with the simple stuff. That's why she's sparring boys, too. Well, when you're one of the only girls in class. It's all good. Her choice, not mine. Frank Fleming asks, now that Mir is hurt, who should fill in for him? Fedor. Cormier. Fedor. <laughs> or what's that Russian guy that's been off the radar? Artana. That's it. Arlovsky. Not Arlovsky. Tim Sylvia. Nope. Come on. They almost signed Sylvia, and then they like, fucked him and put Frank I Mir I want in. someone from, like, the Eastern Bloc. That's not Arlovsky. Uh, Vladimir <laughs> Matyushenko. No. I see that. No. Alexander Gustafsson. No. no. I'll just keep naming. Those are all light Crow everywhere. Cop. <laughs> Fucking Crow Cop. Uh, no, that's you. who we want. No. Why not? Come on, he's gonna the get Croatian put on. Croatian Oh yeah, he's gonna get put on his back and pounded out for three rounds. <laughs> no That's way! Not be cool. Pro cop's got the best takedown defense in the world ever. No, what the fuck you're talking about? Okay. He wears the flag. I like you Fedor. can't beat a whole country. Yes, you can. I think Glover Teixeira or Stipe Miocic. 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 Yeah, Miocic. He's taking. He's taking the banner forward. Right. All right, ready? Next question. Keith Farrell asks, is the streak Bones on against the toughest streak of opponents in MMA history? Oh, we just talked about yeah, that. Yeah, there has been some guys like Liddell at the end of his career who fought nonstop killers, but Jones might have the toughest string in my opinion. I agree with him. True. I, th I think, yeah. <laughs> Everything's kind of falling in line here. <laughs> Mike Puisha asks, why is Crow Cop still fighting? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> damn right. I don't know. Is he still fighting? Yeah, he's still working on it. And the follow-up question is, Schaub says that his chin is not weak. So, guys, is Brandon's chin a glass chin? 
No, nah, I don't think so. I think when you fight those crazy <laughs> guys, it's a lot of power. It's the heavyweight division, <laughs> man. Like you get you get hit on the butt and you're going to sleep. One mistake. Unless you're uh, Roy Nelson. He's got the belly. I think Fuck, it man. offsets the balance or something. Is that like the extra girt? And let me just mention too, he is off his fucking diet. Did you see him on the Ultimate Fighter? He looks fire? huge, yeah. Oh my god, there, here we go again. I'm gonna show up in shape for two fights and then just go off the fucking wagon yeah. again. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Cause... I don't know. His, I'm curious about the coaching. He seems like he's just kind of doing whatever. Uh, whereas, uh, fuck, who's he, who's he coaching against? I forgot. <laughs> Shane Carwin. <laughs> That's it. Shane Carwin has actually impressed me. He's letting his coaches do their thing, and he's just kind of he's actually talking and seems like somewhat intelligent. Not, he's not talking. Yeah, like he seems like is... maybe more relaxed now. Maybe he had some coaching. I blew my load. <laughs> I couldn't continue playing. Yeah. Uh, uh. Well, he's a smart guy. He's got like two engineering degrees, and you know he should. He's got to be intelligent to be a I mean, sure shit. Sure. So, whatever. I'm just curious. So I'm, I'm saying. I'd run it the same way. I'm not. I'm not a fucking coach. Go ahead, coach. Do your thing. I'll bring my people in, and we'll run shit. Yeah. I heard Roy Nelson's supposed to have the 209 in there. The Diaz That'll brothers. Be fun. Yeah. That'd be sweet. The whole crew. And last question is not really a question. Daniel Vanovich, uh, bringing the flyweight division to UFC equals fail? Question mark. Obviously, the crowd is booing the lighter divisions. So, do you think it's a good thing with all these lighter weights in the UFC now? Uh. I am of the opinion that they should um, give it a little more time, but at the same time, you know, I'm not that optimistic that it's going to be that exciting. And definitely, we don't need any lighter weight classes. Okay? Oh my God, 115 <laughs> pounds! Seriously? Why not? It, uh, seriously, we should have jockey fights. So how much do jockeys weigh? I don't know. It's about that, 95 pounds. 95. Let's have a 95 pound weight class. I'll have you fight my daughter. Maybe they can change the rules for the lighter weight classes or something. I don't know. Allow groin shots? I don't know, something. Or longer rounds to t try to tire the guys out. So Shorter that... cage, cattle prods, <laughs> electric fence. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I'm i not sold on it. I don't like Flash it. Gordon. You ever see that movie? Yeah. Where they fought on that tilting oh, yeah, yeah. thing and then spikes came up through oh, yeah. the fucking floor. Uh -huh. And then you had a, a spiked, it was like a moat that surrounded it too. So yep. if you went off of it when it was tilting, you fell onto the spikes. I like it. See, I'm a man with a vision. You are. I don't know if that vision is <laughs> legal, but it would be fun as fuck. I like it. Know? I like it. That's why not do it up. Let's shut know. off. I'm not a believer. I, I think it's bullshit that he's, they're trying to force feed us this division, yet Dana White runs around for years and years saying he doesn't care about women's fighting. Yet the women in the last year or two have been way more exciting than this division that we're watching right now. True. And they need to put that shit on pay-per-view and let the women make some money. Wax. Yeah. Unwaxed? <laughs> oh. Put it in a mud wax. pit. So, what the fuck ever. If you'd like to send us an email, you can We're use do that, that uh, fans at MMAnails.com or go to our website, MMAnails.com, uh, Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, Twitter. As Matt oh, burns out his eyeballs with, with his mouse. Fuck and, um, it. Go there. We'll just stick it on your map. <laughs> What's going oh, on sorry, over yeah. there? Sorry. I'm going to just start texting and go now. Oh. Did it? You better get fucking home now, motherfucker. No. Everything's good. We're running shit. Time to pick up your judo lessons. <laughs> judo lessons. Yeah. My wife is pregnant, so she's a little weird. But uh, What? <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Uh, she's just checking in with me, making sure everything's good. All good. Life is good. So knowledge, Matt. Well, I, got, I don't have any knowledge. You don't? We could talk about what? Pickles? I'm addicted to fucking about, pickles this right now. <laughs> this ridiculously. How are those pickles I'm I gave you? Eat yeah. pickles when I get home. They're are delicious. You? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I like right now. I'm, I'm eating sandwiches and I have like a little bowl of pickles yeah. with it. And it's just sometimes like tonight I'll go home and I eat some pickles. And well, you know we need to make a post. Like, what is the best pickle you've ever eaten? Like, who makes the best pickle? I should put. Yeah, try to put that on the underground. I didn't get many feedbacks. It was just like, we'll post it on Facebook or. No. I need to know. Post questions. Some of the pickles are expensive. I looked up one that was like from New York that yeah. they were Boston where he's talking about. You, you can only eat? buy a case and the shit's like $160. I'm like, okay, 
I Just, like pickles, but I'm, I'm, I'm not spending $160 on a case of pickles, okay? That's like $14 a jar. No thanks. That's too expensive. No, I think I'm at like five is about the most I'm yeah. paying for a jar. Of... Well, that big, you gave me that uh, Famous Dave's, which yeah. was really good. Those are good. They're slightly sweet and slightly spicy. I, I For a big ass jar like that, I'd pay 10 bucks maybe, you know? that's, that's, that's That was yeah. like the stupid size, you know? <laughs> the Sam's Club size? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was that's good, but... Or we should just make our own. What I should probably do. So we talked about last show. So yeah, finish, I forgot. Finish we're going to be pickling, jar. right? I'm going to finish that jar of pickles in the next week or two. I'll save it and we'll wash it out and we'll try. I think there's some kind of attachment you can get for the top. Yeah. Because you need some kind of special thing where you can. We need like a pickle up. Big, like a five gallon bucket or something. Yeah. We need to be. Slice up some cucumbers. Throwing them throw in. it in. Yeah. I mean, how hard can it be? A little vinegar? It's not hard. A little can vinegar. You have vinegar? Yeah. Yeah. Some, some it pepper, might have to be apple cider vinegar, but it'll still work. Peppercorns, salt, pe um, garlic. Let's just throw shit in. Let's not even research it. Let's just <laughs> do it. Some paprika, yeah. a little bit of cayenne pepper, red pepper. I'm hungry now. Some mustard seeds. Yeah. See? <laughs> what else? I don't know. Something sweet. You need like a. Like we a, should do it like Willy Wonka and then throw like a old wrestling shoe in there too. <laughs> oh yeah, the big guy. <laughs> it's like bad. I remember that. That's so funny. Like, what are you doing? It's, I watch that movie. Needs a little extra kick. Yeah. We'll put a <laughs> put a boot. <laughs> put a boot in there. Fuck yeah. Those are Oompa Loompas, Loompas in there to stir that oh shit up for us. See, one of the best That's movies ever missing. made. Still holds up today. That's right. The, the original. The new one blows. I, I'm sorry. I don't like. I love Johnny Depp, but not that version. Oh, sorry. Sorry. An insult. So That's knowledge. You have anything? Oh, would you think of the first episode of? Whatever that show was. Boardwalk Empire? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I felt like they were really bringing everything back together to kind of set us up. Started a little slow, but so did season two, and then it got going. Yeah. If you remember, it was a little, couple episodes. It was like, okay, okay, and then shit just went ape shit. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like it. I just, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, what I, do might, you... I might have to watch it again. It was a little confusing. I'm like, yeah. what is, there's, it was like too much information for... Okay, this has happened, this has happened, yeah. and that guy really die or not? Like, I don't know. Well, they were, re that's a common thing in series, is like, they bring back all the characters and let you know where they're at currently, yeah. you know. You got, um, you know, Steve Buscemi and his wife, they're they're having parties, like, giving, obviously he's making shitloads of money, because he's giving, like, gold away at some kind of crazy party, and he's got that New York gangster coming in town and running shit. And yeah. My favorite guy, who's still, like, he, like, as far as, like, a weird character, is that, cop i forgot his name like the crazy weird guy that had the baby oh yeah he's so weird it's like <laughs> fucked salesman. up i'm just waiting for him to do something crazy he keeps falling into weird shit like it's just so thought you're gonna say the guy with half a face no crazy he's troubled fucker. troubled soul poor guy man but i think the show the season will, will kind of pick up now i think this episode there's probably going to be some shit that goes down because there's a lot of turmoil go brewing between Chicago and New York and uh, where are they at? Uh, Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. So We're making it happen. Yeah. Do you, do you, is that your favorite show right now on TV? Uh, I still like Mountain Men. Or you wait, that? Yukon Men. Oh, Yukon Men. Not Mountain Men. Okay. That's Yukon Men. But I will say this. The last show, like, they were out hunting or something, and uh, they're all on their uh, fucking... Not motorcycles, but snowmobiles. There you go. And one of the guys goes missing. And they, they dedicate the whole show to the surge and recovery for this guy. And then he's dead and a funeral. One no. hour of no shit. depressing. Don't do that, that to sucks. me. <laughs> yeah, show me some action. Yeah, give me like 10 minutes of like, this guy got lost, they searched, and then here's a, a funeral slash party, we hunted a moose, and whatever. Yeah. I want more uplifting or more hunting Easy. stuff. Don't worry, this, this, is a, this monitor is tough as nails. <laughs> Look at 27 inches. Yeah, and we've been playing Borderlands too, which yeah. has been fun. I'm starting to, I have a feeling because of, because of, you know the, the expansions will come out, it's going to be a game I like go to and come back from mm -hmm. a few times. And I just was telling you, I found out you can play through it like three times. Yeah, the levels keep going up, so it's harder and harder. What level is your guy at now? Uh, know, almost or? ten, I think nine or something. All right. I, think I, I think I hit eleven on my guy. Okay, so it's all good. I mean, I'm I'm slow leveler. I kind of got the other game I've been playing. 
I know you don't like soccer, but that FIFA 13, there's a mode on there. It's ridiculously addictive, just like 12 was, mm. where you play online. It's called Ultimate Team. So, like, you can buy these packs. Like, imagine, like, packs of cards. And then in that, in that pack, you get certain players. Uh -huh. And you can create your team to kind of start start building like the team and then you play that online you play seasons online you play tournaments and stuff and it's all like really interactive and it's easy so it becomes like addicting trying to like build even though i don't know shit about soccer i'm like trying to get the good good guys on yeah. my team and learn how to make them play and it's so hard to score a goal when you do you go ape shit so it's 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 kind of nice then they go go no. as i blow the speakers out I'm, no I, I, I cut myself off go, this time. Go. sorry no oh yeah like that <laughs> i'm not gonna go 30 yeah. seconds and no, yeah. it's fine. So I'll, I'll be playing Borderlands and that. I think we should like do one or two regular nights of Borderlands yes. and just kind of. Well, I've been playing a slot machine. That's what I've been trying to do <laughs> because that's that's where you get all the good shit. And then if you get enough cash, you can run them both. It's like you go poom poom. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Just, just watch out when you get three of the bad heads because a fucking grenade will jump out. Do you have at time you. to run away. Yeah. Okay. Is if you see one head on the first one, just start running. <laughs> just turn and run. Do you have to get out of the room, or does it? Uh, yeah, just enough to either you can either run out the door or just run to where those dudes are playing darts. Okay. To the left, and it'll be it's all right. It's been fun. I didn't like the snow level, but I'm liking now the. Yeah, I think it's thing. like once we get past 10, it's like then you start getting some decent weapons. Where yeah, I got like, like a bunch blow. of purples and blues and I'll get you some, I got a bunch of weapons. I need a sniper get. rifle for my assassin. Yeah, I got a bunch. Yeah, it's fun. So if you guys play, um, you know, hit us up on Facebook and we can add you to our Xbox, whatever. My friends list is full, but I can always make room if you're going to be playing. It sucks. They only let you put 100 people on it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? <laughs> you got, got your friends. Uh, yeah, it got like a lot of friends from college and, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. just random people. I don't know who half of them are, some of them. But what I did recently, yeah. which really helped, is I turned off Delete all everybody. notifications. So That's even smart. when I get a message, email, it doesn't do shit. So sometimes if you if you need me, you got to like yeah. text me or something. If I don't know if you, mess if you message me in game, I will get no notice because I found it annoying. You got to get a new mic, man. Why? Because like, when we played the other night, I was like, was, and then finally you sent me a message like, can you hear me? I'm like, I can't know. I can't I hear I bought, I bought a new mic. Was it better the other night? The, the, the second night, was it better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. I think I'm having trouble figuring out. Oh, I bought like one of those Turtle Beach like wireless surround oh. sound headsets. It's, this thing's expensive. I just have that little tiny... I can't thing. do that one. No, because this is uh, also surround. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, you know, I need to be quiet. Yeah. yeah, so I just got to figure out how to set it up. I think maybe there's some settings. Maybe before we play one time. All right, that's it out. Because I can hear you really well, and the game is in surround sound, so... But for some reason, that mic keeps, like, fucking up. I don't know. It's like a... It's all high-tech. We're not high-tech, but we will be back next week with another edition of MMA Nuts. That's been it for this week. My name is Dingle Weigold. Matt Griffin. And, uh, pickle. Trust me. Low-calorie, high-density, delicious. You can do other shit with pickles, too, but I did that up. With or without plastic. Remains as you see. Thanks for playing.